Doug Shepard, Hardin County Extension Agent for Agriculture. We're out here at the new Hardin County Cooperative Extension Service Office located at 111 Opportunity Drive in the Kentucky Heartland Agricultural Complex. Uh, this is our second major building project that the Extension Service has had here in Hardin County. Of course, the first, our first office we just moved out of was constructed in 1980. Uh, been added on to several times. We basically outgrew that facility because of meeting space, so our leadership decided that we needed a new facility. And we actually started on this project way back in 2005. Uh, the extension office part of it came a little later. Uh, first part, of course, was the Livestock Events Center, which is also located out here by our facility. So we just moved in here last week uh, and hopefully it's be totally finished uh, September 1. So there is construction still taking place in parts of the building, but at least the office part of it, uh, we have gotten settled in there somewhat. We've still got a lot to unpack and uh, as you'll see as we go through, uh, a lot of the rooms and so forth still have some final details to complete. We're standing out here in front of the building. There's some rather unique features that our leadership requested when we built this. And the first thing is the quilt block that's up above my head. Of course, the homemakers have had this quilt block uh, project here in the county and throughout the state for several years. Uh, the quilt block up here is actually made out of stained glass um, that was constructed for us in Louisville. The design has relation to extension and there's an extension story behind this design but we won't go through that this morning since it's rather complex but we uh, sure enough think this is a neat feature and a lot of folks have commented on it here at the front of the building. Alright, we're here in the lobby. This is right after you come through the front door. Um, on your right will be this large TV screen. Um, when we get up and running You'll be able to look on this and it'll tell you who's meeting in the building that day and which room they're located in. Each of the rooms uh, as you enter the building uh, has a monitor at the door that will also tell you who's in that room, um, meeting in that room, and which room it is and so forth. So hopefully you won't get lost in this big facility with uh, the technology that we've had installed here to help you find your way. We're now inside the new extension office and uh, the sounds kind of wild in here but uh, anyway this when you come through the front doors this will be the reception desk that you come to and Joni Hill is our receptionist. Another unique, unique feature here is this silo looking thing behind us. Um, that is actually a silo that is on Rick and Donna Thomas's farm out on Ring Road, right behind where the new Five Star Station is. Um, there's a Amish fella down in Hart County that actually hand painted this and everybody comes in here pretty much overwhelmed by how realistic this thing looks. Um, but it took him about two weeks to paint this. They've also, Steve Wooden uh, provided us uh, an old silo ladder to go up on the side of it. Um, so it's very much a realistic looking feature. Uh, of course, the whole aspect of this building and it's one thing in our building committee and extension district board really wanted to get the agricultural field and you know where we've come back through or back from so there's a lot of earth tones in here and special features with barn wood and so forth you'll see throughout the building 
that makes it pretty unique and gives it that kind of farm feel. So when you come into our reception desk, of course, all the things we had at our old office, publication, soil testing, and so forth, that'll all be handled here as well. We've got a special window over here just for soil tests, so all the dirt isn't on Joni's desk anymore, kind of uh, separate area. Uh, but publications and so forth, there's two office wings here. Uh, the front office wing is where the agriculture and 4-H agents are. The second agriculture or the second wing is where the family, home, and consumer science agents are, and also our horticulture agents. And then back behind us, uh, as you enter the building and go past the reception area, goes into our big conference center. But we also have several other meeting rooms up here off of this lobby uh, with restroom facilities as well for all the various groups that come in here and meet. All right, this is uh, kind of a new facility for us. Uh, this is our demonstration teaching kitchen. Uh, it's one of the two big rooms we have here. There's actually a teacher's station here and four student station behind me. Uh, there's a camera on the ceiling. So Dana Ventress, who's our FCS agent here, does a lot of, and Marla Stillwell, our 4-H agent, they do a lot of cooking classes and so forth and demonstrations. They can use this room here uh, with the camera in the ceiling projecting down over the uh, stove and so forth. It can be shown on uh, four screens up here above us where the students behind uh, can see what she's doing. And then if we have a group of homemakers in this other room over here in front of me, they can also uh, be able to see what she's doing. So kind of a real unique thing, full set of residential type appliances in this, in this room for the kids and uh, homemakers and so forth to use. Two biggest uh, projects that we've seen growth and interest in the last several years is going back to these old things that we've kind of been removed from and that's sewing and food. So, that's why our district board decided to put this teaching kitchen in, in the sewing room, which is next door, that we'll see here in a minute. We're now in what we call our formal boardroom. This is where our district board actually meets, but uh, this can be used for whether it's Cattlemen Association Board or any other the commodity organizations or homemakers council or whatever. Um, this is more of a formal boardroom for them to use. Uh, of course, it's got a, a sink and so forth in the back and counters in the back as well. Can also show presentations in here off a of laptop and so forth, uh, PowerPoints or whatever uh, with the, the screen mounted TV. We're now in our uh, sewing project room. Uh, there's 20 actually workstations in here uh, where we can have sewing machines stored that'll be in cabinets uh, in the cabinets that you see here and the chairs for uh, the students or homemakers, whoever might be using this. Like we said earlier, there's a lot of interest, interest in sewing projects and quilting and so forth. We have a lot of uh, classes on that here at the Extension Office pretty much every week. So another room that our leadership very much felt was needed was to have a larger area for uh, youth and adults both to come in and learn sewing skills. This room is actually um, the same size or slightly a little bigger than what our old auditorium was, which is our largest meeting room in our old facility. So uh, we can also, you can see we've got uh, tables and chairs set up in here, uh, classroom style, that this room can be used for multiple purposes. Much the same as the uh, teaching demonstration kitchen we came out of, that room can actually be divided and made into two 
uh, classrooms and it's the same size as this room. So uh, gives us a whole lot of more options and multi-purpose rooms uh, to use for educational programs. All right, we have now entered the uh, conference center. This is our largest meeting room. Uh, this facility actually will hold 450 people at banquet style tables. Uh, three rooms in here. Uh, these can be divided off. We have audio visual equipment in each one. Uh, they can all, we can show uh, one production on all three screens or uh, as the rooms are closed off, they'll have their own sound system and AV equipment. The very back of this is our catering kitchen. Um, so if groups want to come in here and serve meals or have functions, they can do so. So kind of gives E-Town and Hardin County another large venue uh, to hold major events. Uh, Farm Bureau is having their annual meeting here this fall. Habitat for Humanity has already booked the facility for their annual meeting. So. Um, just gives a real nice large meeting area for the community to be able to use. My favorite part about this room. I guess the size of it um, and the molded function of it that we can divide it up into three different areas so we can have three meetings going on here at the same time with different groups. Uh, buildings very soundproof. Uh, our partitions that we're having installed here will be soundproof so there won't be any bleed of, you know, noise from one group going over to the other. So, uh, just super nice facility. I mean, it's beautiful the way they've finished this thing. So, we're pretty proud of it. All right, we're now into one of the office wings. This is our, what we call B wing or the second wing. Uh, this is where the FCS and our family consumer science agents and assistants are located, as well as our horticulture agent, Amy Aldendurfer and the master gardeners. Uh, this happens to be one of our uh, barnwood quilt patterns that the Amish made for us and uh, mounted on the end each one of these wings. There's two of these in the building. Uh, each one's different, kind of a unique feature. Uh, a lot of workmanship in this that we thought was pretty cool. So just adds that little ag touch to the building as well. So again, uh, two halls uh, to this wing, uh, horticulture and uh, the master gardeners would be located here to my right and the FCS folks will be located down this other hall. Uh, the other office wing out front is similar to this and again that's where the agriculture and 4-H agents and program assistants where they're located. As far as how all this was developed uh, we have a tremendous group of leadership here in Hardin County that we inherited. Mr. Snyder of course was the agent that was here for years and he was a big person uh, in leadership development and we got to inherit a lot of the leaders that he developed and of course a lot of them have been developed since. But these were the folks and this is their building. They were the ones that traveled all over the state looking at other county extension offices, met with the architect, continue to meet with the general contractor on a regular basis, come up with all these unique uh, ideas and just like this wall here uh, in this building. Uh, gave a lot of thought to what we needed as far as meeting space, actual uh, 
extra offices and so forth in here for expansion down the road. So, you know, our last facility served Hardin County for nearly 40 years, and I'm sure that this one will uh, serve Hardin County and this region uh, for the next 40 or 50 years. It's a fabulous facility and 35,000 square feet, four times bigger than what we, we had originally. So, uh, real special thing to be able to have here in Hardin County. We hope you enjoyed our tour of the new extension office. Uh, invite you to come out and see our new facility. We are having a ribbon cutting and grand opening on September the 6th at 11 a.m. Uh, we'll be offering tours of the building at that time. But this is your facility, Hardin County. Um, your tax dollars are what built this thing. Uh, we appreciate your support and interest uh, in this facility. We appreciate you watching extension today. There'll be a scroll of upcoming events we have at the new extension office coming up here shortly. So we look forward to seeing you again next month.